Hey everybody, it's Miss Seru here and I'm really excited to announce that I have a piece of Tyra. I got this thank you to artawigs.com and you can order your own there and it's a new thermoplastic. I'm going to go work with it and we will see what I can make with this. I'm pretty excited so come follow me. So I'd cut a piece of Tyra just to show you really stretchy sticks really nice to itself easy to mold it's overall a lot smoother I think I'm gonna make this by using this we have the tiger it's really easy to cut. And there you have it. Okay, so I just finished showing you guys how to mold Tybra over my mug. And it was really, really easy. And I actually forgot to record the next couple steps. In this step, I spray paint it with just red and there is no primer whatsoever. And then the next step is this. And what I did is I covered it with 3M painter's tape. Again, I apologize, I didn't record any of this. After I put the painter's tape on and I sprayed the white, I took off the painter's tape. And some weird things to point out is the paint did chip here and here. And it had kind of a weird texture, but I actually think it was my spray bottles. They're kind of, it was kind of old and I didn't shake it enough. Um, so I don't think that this texture is because of the Tybra. I think this is actually like a spray paint, like the can was going bad. It was really, really old spray paint. So that is something to be considerate of, but it did take off the paint, which was really annoying. And I noticed that you can kind of peel at the paint if you try really hard. So that is something to be considerate of. I am going to test some more to see if doing a base of Mod Podge or some sort of primer, just one layer, will make a difference of getting the paint adhere better. After I took the painter's tape off and I noticed the imperfections, that's fine. It's still such like the early phases of painting. I ended up starting to paint some shadows into the red, making it more defined. And this piece, I haven't started on the white. And I apologize, I don't have any pictures of that. But the next picture I have is the finished product. This is just missing the, the gloss coat on top of it. But I went in there with acrylic paints and I put some shadows, put some depths. There really are some wrinkles in here, but I wanted it to pop really good in photos. And so I kind of went a little bit extreme with it, so from a distance still. So you can see the difference that shadowing and painting will do. Now the next step for me is to add these pieces to the knee armor for my costume. Overall, I think Tybra is super easy and smooth to use. It's very easy molding over pre-existing things, and I think it'd be very, very helpful when covering foam and doing the sandwich method. I haven't really experienced much outside of this. Some other pros to be considered of, it's really easy to cut so your hands don't, your hands don't hurt. It's stretchy, and from what I saw, stretching it over here and in the cracks, it didn't rip, and it didn't get a weird texture to it, which was really, really cool, as you can see 
in like the first photo when I painted it red, you can see how smooth it is. I think so far I'm really impressed with Tybra. I'm going to keep trying it. I'm going to tr probably make some more videos and figure it out. And the more I learn, the more I'm going to share with you guys. And there you go. There are some cons. I think the painting, the paint issue, like I mentioned here, of the paint not sticking super, super good. Um, I need to figure that out. I haven't had any issues with the paint coming off on this side after I hand painted it. So, well, you know, I'll have to wear it out in the convention. I haven't worn this out on the con yet, so I don't know how it does with battle damage on the floor, con damage. So if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to try and answer them. I'm still learning with this material, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. And if you want to contact me, my Facebook is facebook.com slash cosplay. And I'm always here to answer questions. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye.